you know, you see, you see the cover and you just see these guys marching and you think, oh wow, what is this? Essentially, it's a story of uh, 300 Spartans. The king takes his elite force to save his nation, to fight, they say, the most massive army ever assembled. Our film, first of all, sets up what a Spartan is. And it's very extreme what they went through. And you see, there were no soldiers ever like these guys in, in the training, the endurance and the toughness. And they have to go and do what is their dream, essentially, which is to die in the perfect battle. The king, who basically has to deal with uh, he wants to take a larger army there, but he has to deal with kind of outdated traditions and corruption within the, the, the council and the ephors, who I guess are like their Supreme Court. He realizes this is a decision he has to make on his own, and he has to take his best men and go and make a stand. It's not a documentary, it's a, it is a, a kick ass story full of passion and politics and brutality and so many more things, you know. It, 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 existing in this kind of hyper-real, beautiful, emotional world. I look as the king, is bigger than anybody else's, you know. I have this big, I'm a cat, he's a big persona, you know, with the braid around the head and, and, and the big beard, and I wanted to fit that body-wise. I, I wanted to be an example to the other actors and to the stunt guys that, you know, I wasn't just some guy coming in and playing the king, but I was there in every way. It was going to work as hard, if not harder, than any of them to prove myself as the king, as a Spartan. I mean, I started three months before we even came to Montreal and then trained for another four or five weeks here before the film even started. And at, at some points, I was training four hours a day in the gym. I had two trainers, two separate trainers. I, was, I don't know what I was thinking. They have trained their whole lives. There's nothing they wanted more than to be Spartans. That's taken for granted, that's understood. I'm taking my best men. I know these guys are there with me every, you know, my problem is holding them back. They're like hungry lions just waiting to go. There's certain times I need to make, you know, give them a pep talk, but it's short and sweet. There's no flowery language used in Sparta. What is required to motivate your men, to understand what pushes your men and their souls and what, and what drives them and, and, and the difference that that can make in being an effective force in battle. It's a great line in the movie when Xerxes says, how can you ever stand against me when I would gladly kill any one of my men for victory? And I say, and I would die for any one of mine. And that, to me, is the essence of Leonidas, that he would die for any one of his men. If you're not gonna go away, then let's fight. And let's fight in the best way we can. We're gonna kill everybody we can, we're gonna you know, we're going to take all the bodies, we're going to build mountains out of them, we're going to kill your messengers, we're going to... That's what we're going to do. And we do it in a very brutal, ferocious way, and we love it. I often feel that we were killing them, we'd be quite happy to drink their blood, and, and you know. So, uh, that, that's me, though. <laughs> I think it's a little crazy as well. I wanted to put a touch of madness in there. There's times when you just... I can't imagine people in other nations saying, that Leo, he's a... He's a crazy dude, that guy. You, know, you don't want to mess with him, you know. And at times, I wanted to see a touch of that, where he's just like the intensity is almost unbearable. <laughs>